Hello YouTube! Today I'm going to talk about my favorite fast food toys. And I'm not saying Happy Meal toys because, as you probably can tell, two out of these three are not even Happy Meal products. They are from Burger King. So, let's see the figures. Now, this guy, as you probably can tell, is from the Toy Story series and he's actually from Toy Story 2 I mean he came out in McDonald's when Toy Story 2 was in the cinemas when Toy Story 1 came out I was desperately trying to get some of the toys uh, because at least in my country the toys were not really uh, available in any toy store so really the only way for me to get any Toy Story related toys was McDonald's and uh, the first se series of toys in McDonald's I don't know if you remember them uh, with today's standards they weren't that great I think I never really had any of them I only had I only managed to get um, Rex and I don't think that Rex toy was that amazing I always wanted to get Woody or Buzz but never could uh, get them mainly because uh, we didn't live in a town where there were any McDonald's so we usually had to drive at least 50 kilometers for the nearest McDonald's and we didn't really get into the big town as much as I, I would wanted as a child so when the Toy Story 2 came out I think I was already a student at the university and one day I just went out my dorm uh, and in on the corridor I saw some guys playing with something and I couldn't figure out what it was and it turned out it was this little car they went to McDonald's and they liked the toy for the Happy Meal so much that they bought it I, I don't think they even knew what what show it was from and I just fell in love with this toy the minute I saw it I went to the McDonald's that same week just to get the Happy Meal for that week. And why this toy is so interesting is because the wind-up feature is really strong on this one. As you can see here it was really really far. So the guys in my college, they really enjoyed playing with this uh, on, on the corridor. Just one guy sitting in one end and the other guy sitting in the other end and just sending it back and forth. This is a really amazingly well done little toy car. So I would really recommend you to pick this up because he's, he's really cool. He's, got the bumpers which you really need by the way because he goes fast and he he just slams into everything he's got really nice tires actually made of rubber very nice uh, the wind up feature is very very strong it rolls pretty fast and nicely the paint the sticker details are a bit you know scratched up by now even he has some scratches here that's inevitable really because it's a fast going toy he has two of these pegs here that you could if you had buzz you could fit him to stand right here uh, i think i had that buzz figure but i i'm pretty sure i don't have it anymore um, but anyway this is this is one of my top three favorite mcdonald's toy that i actually bought in mcdonald's and it's a really amazing little fast car so if you like Toy Story you should definitely pick this up because this is this is great quality toy and a lot of fun when Hunchback of Notre Dame came out I remember that I got a McDonald's toy and I was that time I was lucky enough to get Quasimodo and here he is in comparison with the Burger King one. As you can see this one is not posable at all although it's also quite a nice sculpt and roughly the same size like that one only this one has an action feature so if you pull this
it will climb up. It's a nice little fun feature. Um, the fact why I didn't chose this one to my video is simply because of the face sculpt. If you look at them next to each other, the Burger King one is clearly the better sculpted facial wise and I just love this this happy smile that he has. It's it it just makes me happy whenever I look at him. So that's why he's the most favorite of mine out of these two. It is very remarkably good quality. It's not cheap plastic at all. You have articulation in the arms like this. Also in the legs. You can put him into poses. I love the face sculpt. It's really hard to get Quasimodo with a decent face sculpt and this happy face just suits him so well. I just love to see him so happy, especially if you think about how sad his story is. I really love the cloth uh, clothing. It's nicely fitted. I like the way it, it is, you know, I like the wrinkles. It, it just fits perfectly well. Uh, and it's it's a nice quality. Uh, it has a nice quality of it too. So this is just a remarkably well done action figure. I I haven't seen the other figures of this line, and this is a Burger King toy that came out in manufactured for Burger King Corporation, Disney, made in China, 07. So could it be 2007? I'm not sure. It definitely came out for the second or I don't know how many at installment of the Hunchback of Notre Dame. Definitely not for the first and original movie. But regardless, this is a great action figure and I just love to put him into this kind of happy winning pose and every time I look at him on, on my shelf he just makes me happy. And so last but, but not least I was saving Littlefoot. As you may or may not know there was a cartoon series called A Land Before Time and I remember seeing the first Land Before Time movie with my mom in the big, on the big screen and I'm pretty sure I was near tears, maybe I even cried, I don't know. It's just a really emotional movie, especially for a kid. It, it, it's, it deals with a lot of really mature stuff right at the beginning. If you haven't seen it, give it a chance. The first movie is amazing. I haven't re really seen the other ones in the series, but I really love the first movie. I definitely love the first movie. And um, this little guy came out uh, from Burger King also in 1997 so he didn't come out for the first movie because the first movie came out in 1988 so this is definitely for one of the sequels but uh, seeing how much I loved that movie and seeing how much I, I wanted the actual dinosaur toys that of course were not available in my country at that time uh, I just had to buy this really it has such a such a nostalgic um, value to me. He has a wind-up feature which may or may not work this time. I'm not even sure if I'm doing it right. But of course you have to wind him up. Well, you can see it kind of works. He should he should walk forward and his head will move from side to side, also his tail. It's a nice little toy, nicely detailed. Has a little bit of a few of scratches on it on him. But I really like it and uh, because the cartoon is uh, because the watching the cartoon is such a great memory for me, um, it really reminds me of my mom and has nostalgic, it gives me nostalgic feelings. So that's why I, I, I really like this figure and I, it's a really cherished part of my collection. So these are my three all-time favorite fast food toys. Thank you for watching. 
and see you next time. Bye-bye.